to South Asia today, a show that provides you glimpses of South Asia. I am your host Pratiksha Mishra. Let's begin with the headlines first. <music> Taliban government warns of worsening problems for refugees as Afghanistan prepares for harsh winter. Why ship event organized in Yokohama city and Yamaha release its latest tracer 9 GT plus motorbike. And celebrations of Chhat Puja across Nepal and India come to an end with offerings to the rising sun. Let's begin the show. With winter setting in, the Taliban's government has said that the thousands of Afghans returning from Pakistan are going to face extremely harsh conditions. Afghanistan is already dealing with a politically unstable environment a faltering economy and a healthcare system beset by difficulties. Afghans returning to their country have said that there are restrictions on the transfer of cash and property to Afghanistan from Pakistan, where many had built businesses and homes for decades. The humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan is worsening as a result of the large-scale return of refugees from Pakistan. Most of those being deported do not have access to proper housing or work opportunities. Just before winter, this wave of returnees have put additional burden on scarce resources and relief operations. Calling the development a very big challenge for the Islamic Emirate, Taliban government has also warned of worsening winter problems for Afghan refugees from Pakistan. <laughs> Uh, Refugees from Pakistan are returning to their homeland at a time when Afghanistan is grappling with severe challenges. The country deals with a politically unstable environment, a faltering economy and a healthcare system beset by difficulties. Afghan citizens returning to Afghanistan have said that there are restrictions on the transfer of cash and property to Afghanistan from Pakistan, where many had built businesses and homes for decades. Meanwhile, the Taliban government has said the matter of people's assets should be discussed in detail. <laughs> بعضی موضوعاتی است که مثال روی ازیا با دیتیل صحبت شده تشویش های پاکستان داره همچنان مده نظر گرفته شده و چون دارایی مردم است و روی از موضوعات با دیتیل بعد صحبت شده و یک رای حل به این موضوع بسیار مهم است یک رای حل باید سنجش شده Following Pakistan's announcement to repatriate Afghan nationals, international agencies have called on Islamabad to protect refugees. Organizations like United Nations are concerned that Afghans may face serious protection risk upon their return. The International Rescue Committee IRC, in Afghanistan has also expressed deep concern about the survival of Afghan refugees arriving from Pakistan. The winter is approaching and the weather and the temperature is declining each day. So this is a big concern for the people arriving in here. They need for the immediate, immediate shelter because most of them have nowhere safe to go. And this means a serious risk, especially for the women and children, because now they are living under tents, uh, under, under, the, uh, under, tents under the open skies. Uh, Besides this, most of the people arriving in here, you know, they need for the psychosocial supports, they need for the nutrition 
nutrition support and also the need for primary health care support. So these are the prioritized needs most of the people do not have because they lost everything, including their homes, properties, and belongings. And now they are starting and have from the zero. Pakistan has said that its move to expel hundreds of thousands of undocumented Afghans was a response to the unwillingness of the Taliban administration to act against militants using Afghanistan to carry out attacks in Pakistan. On the other hand, Taliban officials opine that the militancy is an internal matter for Pakistan and have called on Islamabad to halt its deportation of Afghan citizens. Moving on. Japanese companies are taking great strides in futuristic technology development. Recently, an event named Y-Ship was organized in the port city of Yokohama in Japan with an aim of developing Yokohama as a smart and innovative city. In line with his vision, they invited various startups from across the world and companies from Asian and African regions to participate in the event. Apart from this event, Japanese company Yamaha Motor launched its latest bike, Tracer 9 GT+. The bike has been installed with the innovative millimeter radio wave radar for the first time to make the ride much safer and comfortable. Let's take a look at the Y-Ship event and Yamaha's cutting-edge motorbike. Yokohama City is a popular tourist destination and intends to rise its tourist influx and make the city more sustainable and smart. To realize this vision, Yokohama City organized Y-Ship Global Event aimed at establishing an innovative and smart city in collaboration with startups from across the world and companies from Asia, Africa's emerging countries. Mayor Takeharu Yamanaka explained the history of Yokohama and appealed for cooperation of participating countries to realize smart city vision.横浜は in this event, various collaborations will be authorized. Japanese incinerator company has established a branch of Philippines to develop its business further. Participants from Philippines admires Y-Ship's achievement. It's very different from our city. It's very nice because everything, it's, it's, you can walk around and it's very pretty. The park is very nice and it's very modern. Uh, it's something that we would also like to see in our city. Uh, we already established one and we want to build it, uh, make it stronger. スミオイマチ安心して安全に暮らせる街これがやっぱり非常に大切だと思います横浜を低炭素な環境に優しいそしていろんな人を包み込むような街にすることが必要だと思いますしそのような街ができれば世界からもリスペクトをされ横浜の
ポーツ走行ワインディング走行みたいな走行が楽しめると。To keep the ride relaxed and safe, Yamaha Motor has installed brake assist system using millimeter radio wave rudder. It is the world's first motorbike installed with this system. The system assisted sudden braking saves the rider and avoids crashing. It is Yamaha's concept that makes the ride more convenient, more comfortable, more stimulating, and more relaxing. World GP rider Shinya Nakano drives on a new machine having the latest technology. From professional point of view, he admired this cutting edge technology and Yamaha's policy. キューブレーキかけると車体がこう不安定になるんですけどそれも感知してくれてサスペンションが、えー、減衰力が変わってサポートしてくれるんでいやー結構夢のようなね機能がついてると思いますヤマハというのはそのなんかこうライダーとか人間の感性にすごい寄り添ってるところがあって今回は味付けがナチュラルでなんかこう自然に乗れるっていうところがなんかすごく良かったんじゃないかなと思います。To realize more harmonization between rider and motorbike, Yamaha Motor is continuing with their unprecedented number of trials. And now we take a look at some happenings in Asia in our segment called Asia Watch. More than 500 Rohingya refugees, originally from Myanmar, landed on the shores of Indonesia's Aceh province on November 19, the fourth wave of arrivals this week, a local UNHCR official said. The refugees who arrived at various parts of the province, including Biruan, Pidi, and East Aceh, have overwhelmed local facilities, a UNHCR official said. She said the location where they were being accommodated in Pidi was overflowing with the fresh arrivals, and the UNHCR was waiting for the government to provide bigger temporary shelters to house them. Hundreds of Muslim Rohingya have arrived in Aceh province in recent days, taking the total there to more than a thousand, continuing a migration which has for several years seen Rohingyas escaping from Myanmar to Muslim majority Bangladesh. Or by rickety wooden boats to Malaysia and Indonesia, as well as Thailand. How the rebels from Yemen were seen storming a cargo ship in the Red Sea in a video released by Iran-backed group. Its fighters appeared to land by helicopter onto the top deck. They brandished weapons at the ship's crew and ordered them to lie down. The sea ship, the Galaxy Leader, is now in Yemen's Khodida port area, according to its owner, Galaxy Maritime, which is registered in the Isle of Man. The Houthi movement claims the Galaxy Leader has links to Israel. However, Israel has denied this and says the seized ship was British-owned and Japanese-operated. The owner confirmed the ship was illegally boarded on Sunday. Its crew of 25 is made up of nationals from Bulgaria, Ukraine, the Philippines, and other countries. All communications have since been cut with the vessel. The Houthis are a group aligned with Iran that have emerged as a major military force in the Arabian Peninsula. Last week, their leader said they would target Israeli ships in the Red Sea and said attacks would continue until Israeli aggression. Referring to the war against Hamas in the Gaza Strip, is stopped. A representative from Hamas thanked the Houthis for seizing the ship. He called it a welcome step in support of the Palestinian people. The United States on November 20 denounced the seizure. It said it was a breach of international law and demanded the Houthis immediately release the vessel and its crew. The people in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir are resented with the local administration who have burdened them with high electricity bills and unreasonable taxes. Amid galloping inflation and no subsidies from the Stooge government of Pakistan, locals are up against the administration and launched widespread protests in the illegally occupied territory. They have resolved to continue their agitation against Pakistan and its proxy administration until their demands are met. We have a report. 
the businessmen, traders and local residents are resented over high electricity bills and additional taxes imposed on them by the administration. It has been around four months since civil society and locals are protesting against the administration. Anger of locals in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir is mounting against those sitting in Islamabad. Locals say, despite production of several megawatts of hydroelectricity in their region, they have to pay a high price for electricity. और फिर हमें पाकिस्तान के रेट पे महंगी बिजली दी जाती है पूरी दुनिया में ये मसलमा और उसूल है कि जहां पैदावार होती है वहां सस्ती दी जाती है चीज तो हमारा ये मतलबा था कि जो हम पे ज़ालमाना टैक्स देखें यहां बिजली जो है पानी से पैदा हो रही है लेकिन हमसे फ्यूल एडजस्टमेंट ने टैक्स लिया जा रहा है यहां तो फ्यूल इस्तेमाल ही नहीं होता पानी से पैदा होती है तो इस तरह के ज़ालमाना टैक्सों के खिलाफ हमने ये तैयारी के ने शुरू की थी और एक महीने में चार शटडाउन को मामूली बात नहीं है कामयाब तीन शटडाउन हुए सिविल सोसाइटी इसमें शामिल हुई है तो इस वक्त का सिविल सोसाइटी और ताजर यक्सू हैं कि हम इन ज़ालमाना टैक्सों को हुकूमत से ख़त्म करवा के छोड़ेंगे After observing four shutterdown strikes in just a month, the general public, businessmen and trader association have resolved to protest further if their demands are not met. The local economy in the POK has nosedived owing to skyrocketing inflation, high taxes and many small businesses going bankrupt in the region. कारोबार है नहीं है कारोबार खत्म हो चुके हैं ऊपर से लोड शेडिंग जो है ना ये घंटों के हिसाब से होती है फिर जो है ये जालमाना टैक्स है घरेलू जो है वो दो तरह के टैक्स लेते हैं एक तो सेज टैक्स लेते हैं और घरेलू इन्हें बिजली के इन्हें उस पर भी इन्हें लेते हैं जी जालन सेज टैक्स मुझे ये बताएं कमर्शल जो है इस वक्त हम छप्पन से साठ रुपये ने दे रहे हैं यूनिट के, के और घरेलू जो है पच्चीस से तीस रुपये में हमें पड़ती है हम तो डबल मारे जाते हैं दुकान का जो आना वो डबल दिया फिर घर का जो आना वो भी दिया है हम कहाँ जाएं इतने इन्हें इनकम इन्हें है नहीं है इनकम आप सोर्सेज जो है वो ख़त्म होते जा रहे हैं तो इसलिए ये जालमान टैक्स हुकूमत ख़त्म करे अगर ये चाहते हैं कि यहाँ इंतशार ना हो यहाँ जो है मजीद किसी किस्म की जो है ना उनके खिलाफ शट डाउन ना हो हाईली इन्फ्लेटेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल्स एंड टैक्सेज are putting undue financial strain on the people of POK. They blame the administration for corruption and leaving unjustifiable taxes levied on the general public. Two of the tax lagai ja rahe hain lagai ja rahe hain kehte hain chalo inko no chhodte jao to shayad yahi se kuch nahi milega. बिजली चोरी बरकियात का महकमा खुद करवा रहा है इसके लाइन में लाइन स्टूडेंट और दीगर अफसरान मिल के नीचे से रहकर ऊपर तक किए जो बोथा वसूल करते हैं नीचे का हमला ये ऊपर तक जाता है तो उसको कवर करने के लिए ये जो है ज़्यादा जो है ना वो चार्जेज हमसे लेते हैं इन द लास्ट फोर मंथ्स द पीपल ऑफ पी ओ के हैव नॉट पेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल्स and during protests burn the bills publicly to show their resentment against the government they want to hold a peaceful dialogue with the administration but the apathetic government is not ready to listen to their concerns हमने जो है ना ये तीन महीने हो गए बिल नहीं दिए हैं इसी वजह से नहीं दिए कि जालमान टैक्स खत्म करें टैक्स खत्म करें कि आप पहले भी बिल देते रहे आप भी देंगे एक अच्छे शहरी की तरह हम जो है ना उस पर एतराज़ नहीं है लेकिन इस तरह हम नहीं देंगे आगे तारीख भी चलेगी मजीद शट डाउन भी होगी एक महीने अगर हमने चार शट डाउन कामयाब किए हैं तो आगे हमें जो है ना पाँच करने पड़े महीने में हम वो भी करने के लिए तैयार हैं 
the locals are angry over the current Prime Minister of POK and his attitude towards their concerns. The widespread protests all across POK are the manifestation of public anger towards Islamabad and its proxy administration in the illegally occupied territory. So, Nawar Lakh Sahib, who are now here, they are now here. 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 They are now پہلے وزیر آزم ہیں جن کے خلاف ایک مینے چار دفعہ انہیں پورا کشمیر میں شارڈ ڈاؤن ہو گیا ہے اور مزر آباد انہیں جو دال خافہ یہاں تاریخی قسم کے شارڈ ڈاؤن ہو گیا ہے ایسے تو پہلے کبھی نہیں ہوا ہے ان کو سوچنا چاہیے یہ کب تک جو ہے جنسیوں کے سارے پر حکومت یہاں کرتے رہیں گے یہ نہیں ہے دیر سے دیر پا چلنے والے ہیں It has been over seven decades since the locals have endured Pakistan's injustice and draconian policies public anger against the Stooge administration in POK has reached the tipping point. The resolute public in POK seems to go any length to get their rights and demands fulfilled. Chhat Puja is a festival dedicated to the sun that is celebrated with much exuberance in Nepal and several Indian states. Dedicated to the solar deity Surya, devotees show gratitude, worship the sun god for four days and pray for the well-being of their spouses and children. Let's take a look at this year's festivities. Festivals are the oldest rituals and traditions that people practice to honor the almighty gods and goddesses. In fact, these celebrations are nothing but the symbols of peace and happiness. Chhat Puja is the only festival in the world in which the devotees pay homage to the rising and setting of the sun. The festival concluded in Nepal with devotees offering arg to the rising sun while submerging at the Bagmati river. It is a festival dedicated to Lord Surya and Chhati Maya and is celebrated for four consecutive days with great devotion. The fasting women along with their spouses waited for the sun to shine over the horizon. As the sunlight fell on the devotees, they made the offerings and completed the ritual formally marking the end of four days fasting of Chhat. Devotees especially keep the fast and worship the sun for the long lives and well-being of their family members, also praying for their expectations and desires to come true. Thekua, Khajuri and Kasar, along with varieties of dry fruits, fruits and flowers, constitute the basket popularly known as Thakri in Nepal and Daura in India. Chhat Maiya se yehi maang kari hai ki isi prakar har saal utsa aur ullah se chhat manate rahe और सभी भोजपुरी समाज के जो भाई बहन हैं सभी को छठ पर्व की बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं छठ पूजा इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन द सिक्स डे ऑफ द मंथ ऑफ कार्तिके अकॉर्डिंग टू द हिंदू लूना कैलेंडर द वर्ड छठ मींस सिक्स in Nepali, Maithli and Bhojpuri languages. Women in India celebrate the six-day festival with singing, joyful celebrations and a rite of colour in their clothing, surroundings and cuisines. Commonly, women keep the fast on Chhat, but men, though fewer in numbers, also do it. Devotees believe that if a woman observes this fast with complete faith and devotion, she will bloom in life. हमने चाइने पहला दाल भात तरकारी बनाए रहे सुद्ध लसुन ससुन नहाले रहे सुद्ध खाना खान सो है ना घीमा पकाए रहे 
अनि नुवाई दुवाई गरे रा अनि त्यो पारण गर सो खाना खाये रा अनि दूसरो दिन चाहे बेल का तीरा बेल का तीरा ते खीर रा पुड़ी रोटी बनाये रा अनि केला को पात में रखे रा अनि सूरज लाई छठी मालाई ध्यान गरे रा दिया बत्ती बाले रा दूसरो दिन चाहे त्यो खाये रा एक छक खाये रा अनि बर्ता बस तीसरो दिन चाहे हमी बर्ता बस चो त्यो ना खाई का ना नुवाई दुवाई गरे रा घर मा कला सस्थापना गरे रा पूजा गरे रा सब पे सजाम लिए रा अनि यहाँ आऊँ चो अनि पूजा गर चो पूजा गर चो तीसरो दिन चाहे हमी पानी फल सूल के ही ना खाने तीती के बस ने अगले समय आमित के पनी पानी जाने के ही खाए चाहिए in India, Chhat Puja begins with Nahai Khai, the first day of the festival when the devotee or Vrati takes a bath, especially in the Ganga. The devotees cook religious meals, commonly pumpkin, bottle gourd and moon chana dal. The devotee who is fasting for the festival eats the meal only once a day. The meal is prepared without any waste and when it is ready, it is first served to the Vrati and then to other members of the family. Kharna marks the second day of the Chhat festival. On this day, the person who keeps the fast cook kheer and roti and offers the same to the deity as bhog. Later, the prasad is distributed among family and friends. The third day of the festival signifies evening offerings or sandhya arg to the setting sun. And on the last day of the festival, devotees make offerings to the rising sun at the river bank. On this day, the devotee break their 36-hour fast, resulting in the end of the festival. The fasting of four days is a ritual that is to be followed without fail by the women of the family celebrating the puja. And this is how Chhat Puja is concluded. It's time for me to wrap up today's episode. We'll be back next week at the same time. This is Pratiksha Mishra signing off on behalf of the entire production team of South Asia Today. Goodbye and take care.